what's going on everybody in this video we will be discussing my sony a7 IV run and gun rig and also my vlogging rig right now it's currently built out for my run and gun rig as you can see i do have all of the attachments on here i will change up a little bit of this whenever i am vlogging but this is a primarily all day running video setup that i use if i'm running the video for for quite some time for the day Let's get right into it. The first piece that I wanted to quickly discuss is the lens. It is the Sony G24-105 f4 lens. I know it's not a G Master, it's not a 2.8 uh, f-stop, but I am looking for the 16 at the 16 to 35 G Master 2. That one will probably be my next lens that I get, especially for vlogging. That's 16 millimeters. You can't really beat it. But this 24-105 is very, very versatile. This 105 distance allows you to get capture some images that you wouldn't be able to in a 24 to 70 and at 105 the bokeh is going to be absolutely amazing so you don't really feel it when you're outside but you do feel the disadvantages of this lens when you're indoors and it's quite dark and you can't stop down to something like a 2.8 or, or 1.4 or 1.2 there's pros and cons to using this this lens I've mostly been using it for the last year, but again, like I said, probably by, I don't know, maybe May or so, I'll be getting that uh, Sony G Master 16 to 35 in anticipation of a, a vacation that's coming up. Moving into audio, the current audio setup right now is the Sennheiser MKE 400. This microphone is attached to a small rig cage, which surrounds the camera it's an added level of protection i do also have this little attachment here which allows me to pull the mic up in any direction that i need to and this plane it's an okay attachment i don't think there's really anything crazy about it it is a monitor mount i believe it's meant for a monitor mount but i found that this is a better better use of it than just for a monitor I do also have an air tag that's attached to the cage. I'm a little bit paranoid about losing this camera. I don't think I will. It's been on me all the time, anytime that I have it. But yeah, it's a it's a fear of mine to lose this camera. So I did want to put a air tag on here and you can't remove that unless you have a special tool. Moving on to the V-mount plate. Now, this is a small rig L, L bracket V-mount plate. As you can see, it's a very, very low profile right here. The V-mount battery that I'm using is the small rig 99 V-mount. I believe this is the Gen 1. There is a Gen 2 that's out right now. The only difference is that the Gen 1 has one USB-C input, and I believe that the Gen 2 has two USB-C inputs. So that would be a great benefit, but I bought this before the Gen 2 came out. I don't plan on upgrading to it either. I will also say that I do have another audio source that I will use if I need to use multiple people or subjects that are in my video. I have the DJI wireless mic one. This isn't the second one. I know the second one has 32 bit float, but as of right now, the current way that I be, I've be i been filming is with the gen one and I don't really need 32 bit float. The final item that I would like to discuss for this run and gun setup is the ND filter that I use. It's a basic K and F ND filter. I don't really even remember what the stops are on this. I, I want to say it's five to nine. I'll put that information right here if I'm incorrect. It's a K and F ND filter, five to nine stops. It's been great. This is essential, especially if you're outside during sunny times. I live in Florida, so it is always sunny here. And often it, without this, my images would be overexposed. So this thing has been great. I absolutely love it. I carry it with me all the time. It allows me to get the stop down, but still not be too overexposed. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the L bracket here and we'll go to a more vlog style setup in just a moment. All right, and just like that, one lever to remove it. And this is closer to my vlog style, flip out the camera, right? You could vlog like this, I don't, but uh, this is a very viable way to vlog. Primarily, I run it one of two ways. One is with the utilization of the Peak Design strap. As you can see, I have the quick release right there on it. And then this is the Peak Design slide, I believe is, is what it's called. It'll attach just like that. 
and then we will attach it to the other side here as well and then this just goes over my body and my arm goes right through it this allows for the camera to sit kind of low here or if i want to i can rotate it to my side and also pull it up if i need to this is primarily if i'm recording others or if i'm taking photos and on vacation and kind of want to capture some of the moments that are happening around me rather than on myself this does allow me to quickly take it off pull it around and record myself so there's no problem with taking it off holding it out in front of me if i do want to talk and then just wrapping it around myself and then we're good to go the second way that i have it set up is with the tripod this is the manfrotto tripod this is great for talking head videos especially when you want to set it on a table out in front of you if you're at a restaurant or if you're at a store or if you're at out somewhere else you just put it down on a table and you can have the camera up in front of you or you can face it out away from you if you're recording something else out uh, and you need something stationary all right now that it's attached you can see this is pretty sturdy this is a great vlogging setup right here it's very very good it doesn't shake too too much you can hold it out like this and as you can see that ball head is not rotating at all these legs do extend like this. They also extend a bit further out. So if you do need that space, you do have that option. This is a primary way that I would use this camera to vlog, especially when I'm out and about and I want to hold this in front of me and get capture mostly myself. It's been great. Your arms will get tired. It's a he pretty heavy setup. If you're, you're lifting and able to, this is a great, great setup right here. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything that you wanted to know further about my camera setup for vlogging or for my running gun cinematic type shooting, feel free to let me know. I am planning to do another video where I discuss when I rig this thing out, more like a cinema rig. I do have a monitor, or a top handle, a side handle. As you can see, I have the tripod. I got a shoulder plate, another V-mount battery. So that, that'll be in another video in the future. But as of right now, this is more of the on-the-go type setups that I use for this camera. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.